All right, what I want to teach you guys is how to solve equations with a rational term. And what I mean by rational term is you have these two terms and they're divided by each other. So there's your rational term. Um, I believe the answer for this one is to solve for y, correct? What number is that? Three. 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 Forty-eight. So to go ahead and solve this problem, what you want to make sure you're going to do is we need to get that z off the bottom. All right, and something that's very common with a lot of people they remember how to do is they, they know this problem, 4x equals 8. When we teach you how to solve the equations, everybody's very familiar with solving this because you know you to do the inverse operation, you divide by 4. That cancels out to become a 1, you're left with x equals 2. However, a problem that we do not work on a lot with you is if you have a problem like this. And it's the same thing. If here the 4 is multiplied by the x, to do the, you use an inverse operation, which is division. Here, we have an x divided by 2, so the inverse operation would be multiply. So you have to multiply by 2 on both sides. Those would still cancel out. You're left with x is equal to 6. Well, here, it's the exact same thing. We have a z on the bottom. So what I need to do, or that z is the x plus y is divided by z. So what we need to do is we need to multiply by z on both sides. Now, there's two different ways you can do it. You could initially multiply by the z right now. However, what you have to notice is there's two terms on the side. There's an x plus y over z, and there's an a. So if you're going to multiply by z right now, you have to multiply by the z by the x plus y and the z by the negative a. All right. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put the a onto the other side and then multiply by um, the z. It doesn't really matter which way you go, but. To me, this seems like the easier process. So I'm going to add an A because that's the inverse process of, I'm sorry, that's the inverse operation that A is subtracted from our variable we're trying to solve for. So I'm going to add the A. That's going to cancel out to become 0. So therefore, I'm left with x plus y over z equals b plus A. Now, I'm going to go ahead and multiply by my z. And what I notice is, just like over here, 4 over 4 equals 1. Z over Z is going to equal 1, so they really they cancel out. Then I multiply by Z on this side. Again, we have to be careful, though, when we multiply, when we show that we're multiplying Z on this side, we have to notice that there's two different terms. So you're not multiplying the Z just by the A or the Z just by the B, but we have to put parentheses around that B over A to show that we're multiplying that Z times the B and multiplying that Z times the A. So that, therefore, that cancels out. Now we're left with X plus Y. And we and he usually like to represent this with a single term in front of the other two terms. So I'm going to write z over b plus a. Then now lastly, I need to get that y by itself. So I need to get rid of the x since the x is added to the y. I'm going to subtract the x. Therefore, my final solution is y equals z over b plus a. And that is how you solve an equation Why with a rational. Oh, minus x. Thank you. And that's how you solve an equation with a rational term. Mess that up every single time.